hi mommies welcome back to my channel in this video i will be showing you my toddler's hair care routine i first start off making sure that his hair is fully soaked in water he has my exact hair texture as well as low porosity hair so it takes a little more for the water to actually get in there and stay in there I use any shampoo or conditioner that I use in my hair for him, but I only put about a dime size amount in his hair and just break it all throughout his hair. Just be sure that you aren't continuously using new products on their hair, that they aren't too strong, and also that you are paying attention to make sure that they aren't having any type of negative reactions. He always dodges or moves my hand out of the way when I wash his hair at some point, but he's getting better because now he lets me actually lay him down in the water to rinse his hair. I wash his body, we play a little more, and then it's time to take him out. When I dry him off, I leave him a little damp, but not too wet because it does get cold when you get out of the water. And I always use a vino or aquaphor on his body. He also sweats a lot, so a t-shirt and some socks are usually what he wears. Now it's time to prepare for him to get his hair done. The items we need are his cup, hair supplies, and two packs of his favorite fruit snacks. I also put something on the TV, of course, that he likes to watch. I give him a comb to keep him entertained, and then we get started. I part the section, and then I apply the Shea Moisture to leave in conditioner to moisturize his hair and to make sure that it doesn't hurt while I'm combing his hair out. Then I apply the Shea Moisture braiding jam for kids onto his scalp and then I clean up the part before braiding. I repeat this same process until I get into the middle where it gets a little bit thicker. And of course, since he's so young, we do often change positions so that I can keep him comfortable. And also another hack is to do it around their nap time. I do his when he's about to take his first nap of the day. I gave him a bath, I moisturize him, I put something on for him to keep him entertained, I keep him comfortable, I give him his snacks, and he will be asleep in no time. Doing kiss hair while he's falling asleep is easier because he's used to me tugging and he's aware of what's happening. But when I try to do it while he's asleep, it's often a fail and he moves and he doesn't like it. I always try to be as gentle as possible, but whenever he moves my hand or tries to move me out the way, I give him that little break and that little time that he needs. Whatever really keeps him comfortable, which helps me to do his hair faster. I would definitely have to say that the middle part is the hardest because if I get in his face too much, then he's like, what are you doing? And he starts to move and become active. So I really have to just sneak that and do the best that I can. But the back is also hard because his hair is a little shorter at the back, which I will show y'all when it's completed. This is the middle that I was talking about. You might see me spray the spray right here and it's because it's thicker. So I use the leave-in conditioner spray for kids, can too. And to me, it works just like a water. I love doing his hair when it's wet because he doesn't let me blow dry it. So if I need a little more of a water consistency, that's what I use. Here I am taking out some of what I already did because like I said, the back is hard with the parts. Trying to part evenly and make sure that all of the back gets its own little braid at the end. I moved him to get the back and he was not happy, but this is the end and we are done. And these are the final results. If you'd like to see more boy toddler styles, comment down below. 